What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shanae, and I'm back again with this gorgeous, glittery, cut crease eyeshadow tutorial. You guys know how much I love my glitter. I am a fanatic. So, let's get right on to this video. Starting off as always, I'm taking my matte paint pot and soft ochre, and I'm just placing that all over my lid. This is going to act as my eyeshadow base to help my shadows last all day long and appear bright and bold. Now going in with my e.l.f. HD powder, I'm just going to go ahead and place some of this over that base. That way I don't have any creases and my shadows go on smoothly. Now going into my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette, I'm actually mixing two colors, Gossip and Seas, together. I'm just going to go ahead and just pop this right into my crease and this is going to act as my transition color. So I'm just taking that and just blending that right on into my crease. Now using my MAC Soft Brown Eyeshadow, I'm just going to go ahead and pop that into my crease as well. Just to go ahead and soften up that pink a little bit and give it more of an orangey type of effect. Now taking my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Cream Base in the color Painted Purple, I'm just carving out the outer portion of my eye into a wing. And I'm just going to go ahead and shade that in with this cream color. And you guys, I have forgot that I had these. I actually bought these when they first came out a couple of years ago. And I just put them away in my vanity because I didn't grab for them for so much. But you know, I seen it. I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try this today. And I absolutely love it. I can't believe I've been neglecting these. So if you guys see these at your local Walmart, Walgreens, definitely get them because they are very, very good. Now, going in with ColourPop Dare Eyeshadow, which is a gorgeous satin purple eyeshadow that reflects a little bit of blue. I'm just going to place that all on top of that cream base just to go ahead and make my purple pop and intensify. So here I'm picking my NYX eyeshadow base in the color white. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the front portion of my eye. Just prepping that portion of my eye for my next color so my next color can appear bold, bright, and vibrant. Now I'm taking the color Aquadisiac by MAC, which is this gorgeous, gorgeous teal blue color. I'm just applying that all over that white eyeshadow base. And I'm trying to overlap that with the purple as well. That way, you know, I can just blend as I go and get rid of any harsh lines. That way there are no lines of demarcation and it all flows together simultaneously. Now going back with my white base, I'm just going to go ahead and start carving out my wing for my cut crease. And this does not have to be perfect because I am going to apply glitter on top of it as well. But what you want to do is just try to follow the shape of your eye as closely as possible, as precise as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just following the shape of my eyelid. Now going back with my NYX Glitter Primer, which I like to call Glitter Glue. I'm just applying this section by section on top of that white base, getting ready for my glitter. Now going on my favorite glitter, my NYX Face and Body Glitter, I'm taking the color Crystal, which is a gorgeous glitter color, and I'm applying that section by section. As you guys know, I love to do it section by section, that way to prevent, you know, minimum fallout. Now I'm just adding liner to my waterline. And going back with MAC Aquadisiac, I'm just applying that to the bottom of my lid as well as Dare to the waterline, just smoking that out. And here I'm taking the color Daddy from ColourPop. I'm going to go ahead and apply that in the center. That way it all comes together in unison. Now I'm going in with my Sigma Line Ace Liquid Eyeliner in the color Legend, which is a black color. I'm just doing my wing eyeliner. As you guys know, if you've been following for some time, I cannot do an eyeshadow look without my wing eyeliner. So I'm just going here and applying my wing because I love the wing eyeliner look. It's very dramatic and I'm all about the dramatic and the drama. <laughs> so here I'm just doing that, trying to get it as precise as I can. Now I'm applying my falsies. I'm using my Cocoa Eyelashes and Amour. If you guys know, I love the Cocoa brand. They are super, super duper affordable. They're only like six bucks, but they are so dramatic. And like I just said, I live for the drama. So I went ahead and just applied my falsies, making sure they are secured. 
Now moving on to my lips, I'm taking my MAC Lip Liner in the color Chestnut, which is my all-time favorite. I always reach for this pencil whenever I'm going for a new look. So here I'm just outlining my lips. I like to go ahead and outline the outer portion of my lips first. And then I'm going to go back and shade in the inner corners just so I can have that 3D vampy bow type look. So I'm just shading in all the inner corners and around my lips now, getting ready for my lipstick. Now going in with my ColourPop Little Lipstick in the color platform, I'm just placing that in the center of my lips. Then I have to go back and just pat it out with my finger, that way I can give it evenly distributed. After I'm finished patting it out, I go back and just finish it up and touch up a little bit by shading in the inner corners, and voila, magic. Now, this is the end results. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this look. It is super, super easy, super fun, very glittery. Like I said, I love the glitter and very, very easy to create. So if you guys like this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. And until next time, I will see all the beautiful dolls and gents in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Y'all be easy.